What's going on, peoples? And thank you for tuning in for another beer review. It's Beer Monster O'Clock. And uh, I've got a craft beer to review today, so I'm feeling all posh. Now, uh, I went in Melrussians and um, get a bit low on beers for review. I've got to make another order in. I've got the money sitting there waiting. I've just got to get my ass on the computer and do it. And uh, so, yes, yeah, so I thought I'd uh, see if Morrison's had anything. And I see this is by the Burnt Mill Brewery, and this is called Green Path. It is a Citra and Mosaic IPA. It comes in at 6% ABV. There's a look at your can art. Uh, yeah, it looks all right, doesn't it? I've not tried much from Burnt Mill, actually. So I'm looking forward to giving them a bash. It's a bit pricey, though, this one. Three pound and 75 pennies for one can of 440 ml beer. Maybe craft beer, or whatever, but that's a lot of money to pay for one can of beer, isn't it? And the cost of living crisis and all that, when nobody's got any bloody money. So, yeah, I sort of thought, well, that's even more of a reason to review it, isn't it? So make sure people don't waste their bloody money if it's not worth the money. But it is in the four for three deal, so that does knock a little bit off the cost. Um, I picked up another couple that are in that deal, and then I had one left over, so I just picked up like a big bottle of Hoe Garden, it's like 800 mil or something like that, that do. Uh, yeah, let's crack her open and see what she's all about. I've got a bit of spill on the back. This is what it says, it says, oh, West Coast Leaning IPA with a tropical fruity party of aromatics from the layering of citra mosaic and enigma hops a stripped back malt profile low bitterness and a dry finish keep everything lean and drinkability higher west coast linen ipa with a low bitterness doesn't that kind of defeat the purpose a bit or i'm missing something here isn't a west coast ipa supposed to be known for its bitterness for its big airy balls that give it large full of bitterness yeah, it seems like a bit of a strange choice to mention West Coast with a low bit in this, but that might just be me. Educate me if I'm talking out my bum hole. I right, crack her open and get her in, get her in the glass. But yeah, that's a lot of money for a supermarket beer. Like around a year ago, that'd be a three quidder, but I guess your three quid is now three pound seventy five. And also, I mean that sounds expensive, three seventy five, but it ain't really because in the fourth free deal. And I did have a look online, and if you buy it online from all the sort of craft beer fancy shops, it's about six quid a can. So it's actually not cheap, the price that Morrison's are selling it for at all. It's just an expensive beer. Is it expensive for a reason, or are people just being ripped off? Let's dive into it. There's a look at your alcoholic beverage in the glass. Uh, yeah, it's a kind of slightly hazy golden colour. Not much of a haze going on. Very slight, white, foamy head. It certainly doesn't look all that impressive to me. I'm not looking at that thinking, yeah, that, that's, that's a four quid beer sort of thing, you know. Carbonation, you know, medium levels of carbonation, medium to high, I'd say. Let's get the news in there and check out the aroma of uh, Burnt Meals, what is it called? Green Path. I'm a little bit bunged up. I've been a bit unwell for the last few days. I do my best. But I'm definitely not in the full effect, that's for sure. I'm struggling a little bit. But it smells citrusy. It smells a bit piney. It does smell like a West Coast IPA, actually. A little bit of a grassy sort of hop. It smells pretty good. Smells pretty good. Some grapefruit. Let's chuck it down the neck and see what she's all about. But I'm a bit sceptical about this being four quid a can. I mean, a lot of people pay that all the time. For me, that's a lot of money for a beer. Anyway, uh, cheers, everybody. Bosh. Let's throw it down the neck and see whether I think it's worth a buy. Uh, it is nice, don't get me wrong, but I'm a little bit underwhelmed, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> First impressions, right? It tastes like punk IPA. Brewdog. 6% this one. 
and that about what punk is. My perhaps a little bit less these days. They keep lowering it, doesn't it? it? Tastes like a slightly more fruity, like like a punk IPA with a little bit more balls about it, uh, but not enough to warrant. You know, you could probably get four little cans of punk for that. Do you know what I mean? It, it reminds me a lot of punk IPA. So if you're a fan of punk IPA and you're looking for something a little bit nicer, a little bit more full on with the fruits and flavours, this will probably be right up your street. To be honest with you, or perhaps you was a fan of punk IPA before they literally tore the arsehole out within and lowered the ABV. Give this a try. It might You might find you enjoy this one. Um, I'm going to go again. Let's think about the math feel and that. I would say it's medium bodied, medium feel to that carbonation. Really does remind me a lot of punk IPA actually, a hell of a lot. But I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Because well, it's not a good thing because it's shit punk IPA, isn't it? But it does remind me of a better version of punk IPA. I never tried punk IPA when it first came out, but apparently it was very nice from what I've uh, heard from other people. Perhaps it tasted a little something like this. I don't know. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you've tried both. Or if you've tried this and it reminds you of Punk IPA. But again, a better version of Punk IPA. Without that sort of brew dog weird sort of flavour you get with the brew dogs, you know. It's very citrusy. The main fruit being grapefruit. Quite a lot of grapefruit to this. And it's got kind of like a dry, crisp dryness towards the end. It just sort of dries your mouth out a bit. There's some gentle sort of undertones of like pineapple and like really gentle tropical fruit notes. But it's more of a citrusy, piney kind of affair, this one. It's piney on the finish. It's got a kind of, I'd say, a light to medium bitterness. The bitterness, although it's not strong... It is actually really pleasant. Uh, it sort of stays around for a little bit without sort of outstanding its welcome kind of thing, you know? It's refreshing. But overall, I've got to be honest, I'm a bit underwhelmed. <laughs> I don't think it's worth a buy for £3.75. I personally think there's much better options out there. I just think the craft beer thing is a bit overhyped, to be honest with you. I mean, I would much rather be drinking a solid German Weiss beer or a solid German Pilsner or even something like a Pilsner Quell. You know, and that's not even that expensive, is it? So, £3.75 a can. Okay, it's in the 4 for 3 deal, but then so are a lot of the other beers that are just more for me. I don't know. I don't know. I've never quite got on board with the whole craft beer hype. You know, I do like this. If this was the same price as, you know, your lagers and that, I would get the hype. But I don't think they warrant how much extra they cost, just being perfectly honest here. Uh, perhaps if you're absolutely loaded, it's going to be really fun trying them all out, isn't it? But most people are not in that situation are they let me know what you think of craft beer guys do you think it's all overhyped or do you genuinely think beers like this are worth four quid or you know on some websites six quid for this beer nah not for me uh, i'm going to give it you know still going to get a fairly good score because it is a decent beer i just think it's overpriced i'll give it a sort of 7.9 out of 10 it's decent. If you like punk IPA, I think you'll enjoy this. Uh, if you hate punk IPA, I think you'll hate this even more, <laughs> to be honest with you. Because <laughs> it's like a more flavoursome version of punk. Uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Smash the like button if you've enjoyed this review. Give me some suggestions of bit suggestions of beers you'd like me to review on the channel. Uh, take care of yourselves, guys. Consider subscribing to the channel if you've not done already. And until the next one, bye-bye, darlings. Say aye-aye.